It has begun. Oh wow, what a wonderful way to start. I hope, that, <laughs> I hope the viewers can hear me struggling with my bottle bottle opener. <laughs> I hope they can hear me struggling with depression. Oh. Well, if they've been watching any of the, the last videos, they should know that we're both <laughs> we're both suffering from great this depression. We're uh, suffering from the we're biggest both. depression, which is the Great Depression of the 1920s. Yep. From the 1920s to the early 1930s. Mm hmm. Hmm. You know what? It kind of smells. Hmm. Kind of smells like apple. Ah. Oh, does it taste like apple at all? Because you said it tastes like soda. Does no. Does it kind of taste like apple? I guess kind mm. of. Hmm. Oh Jesus! Hmm. I don't know it's quite. It's quite. It's quite good, though. I must say. I'm watching a UFC fight right now on YouTube, and there's a guy. His, okay, if I were to tell you there was a fighter named Andre Arlovsky. Oh, I know that guy. Where would you? Where would you think he was from? Russia. Uh, Russia or Serbia or Ukraine? I would or think he. Like I would that. think he's from. He's from Chicago. I would think he's from the Austro-Hungarian Empire. If I was going to have to guess. Yeah, yeah. He's from. Uh, I haven't even started. Chicago. I haven't even started playing yet. I haven't done literally anything. All right. <laughs> this is a good start to a video. <laughs> we're uh, we're going to import Danny Dyer. Yes, and we've begun. But God, this guy's tattoos are gnarly. I think that's a requirement to being a UFC fighter. You, you have, have a beard have and tattoos. Massive tattoos and a massive beard and a massive wang. You have the 12 incher. Actually, this guy doesn't have any tattoos. The other guy has a shitload, though. Yeah, we're just gonna. He's Whoa. white. And he has a bunch of, like, Samoan tattoos on his we're leg. We're just gonna play on stuff. casual. Auto level up now. Yeah, we'll have subtitles. We're gonna play on causal. <laughs> Causal, On causal, causal connection. Can you find the causal connection between these two things? Nope, I can't. I have no idea what I'm talking about. All right. God, this guy's just so getting shit. So his name is supposed to be fine. Danny. It, my guy's name is supposed to be Danny Dyer, but yeah. it wouldn't it wouldn't accept the second name, so it's just Danny. So I'm playing as my brother right now. Which it'd be Danny funny Kemper. if he ever yeah if he ever even looked at a video of mine, but I doubt he ever has. Yeah. Uh, uh, well. uh, <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Fight, dude, fight! Again, that leg is not very stable. How do you know? How can you tell that? You're so far away. <laughs> Everyone that goes to a UFC fight immediately thinks that they're like a professional or a trainer, and they just start screaming like <laughs> from oh, the yeah. crowd, they're just yelling oh, yeah. all this stuff. Oh yeah. Shepard did everything. Dude, you would be able to kick his ass if you just listen to me. I'm a 41 year old middle aged white guy. Uh, I have two kids. Uh, I work tap out every day and I've never been in a fight my entire life. Sweep the legs. Sweep his legs. Uh, shut the fuck up. If I was a fight UFC fighter and I heard someone say that, I'd just yell, shut up. Be quiet. Let me focus. Start another UFC fight in the background of the UFC fight. The Reapers are still out there. Oh my god, I'm still, like the biggest... I'm still curious as to who the person is that hands the elusive the man will never trust the iPad They'll from behind in this first cutscene. Even after everything humanity has It's, uh, Miranda. Cosgrove. Cosgrove? Is that Miranda Lawson's fake sister who only is but there to suck one man. the elusive man's if cock? Shepherd, humanity might well follow. No, it's Miranda Cosgrove, dude. You know who Miranda Cosgrove is? I have no then idea who that is. That we don't lose. That's the iCarly girl. Uh oh. Mm. The really, the really young girl from uh, she's tasty. from School of Rock. She's tasty. Yeah. But no, I'm not talking about how old she is now. I'm talking about when I saw her in School of Rock. <laughs> yeah, in School of Rock. <laughs> I remember when I was when I was of age. I don't know if of age is the proper term. What? But You're when talking I was about eighteen? All and it would be weird. No, no, no. When I was under, but is that yeah, what of age? Is that what you sentence. think of age means? No, let me finish the whole sentence. God right, damn it! Man. So, so Chill, I know bro. when you say 
he is of age. It means they're old enough to do something. Disengaging but FTO in the sense that I'm using it, I mean Mission sinks active. of age as in I'm Board is green. We are like silent. of the proper age, Wait. I should say. Of the proper age Four to think this. Oh, okay. Not now. Oh, as all right. 23. Say the, okay, so I think the girl. correct term for that would be like... Three ships went missing uh, here in the past month. Yeah, proper age. Something happened. I mean, yeah, acceptable I age. Or, a proper age. The terminus system is crawling. But when I was a prepubescent up something on the long teenager or whatever the fuck, prepubescent child, mm -hmm. um, and I like saw School of Rock the first time, I was signatures. probably like 10. I probably came out when I was like 10. Let's find out. School of Rock. <clears> you know. Cruiser is it was like 2011. Now I, 2012. Okay. No. Stealth systems are engaged. What? 2012? No what the fuck am I talking about? 2012? <laughs> what am I talking about? I'm in 2002, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so I was 10. It came out in 2012. God, I'm an idiot. Random comes here, I was like, she's like 22. Anyway, she's like my age. Yeah. So, I remember thinking when the movie came out that, do you remember the bassist? The girl who was the bassist? The Macist? He turned it. The Macist. Oh, the Bassist. Uh. He turned, he turned the no. chill sideways. He ah! even turned this sideways and chill. He got a bass. Remember that? No, I don't remember. Girl. Are you. Okay, are you, is it iCarly that you're talking about? No, no, no. I'm not talking about no. iCarly. I don't remember I any remember other girl besides iCarly. Will the Alliance get here in time? I remember thinking. She was like really tan. I just remember thinking, no, I should remember she was really tan. And for being her age, she had big ass titties. Oh. And when I was like, oh, I think I, I like might remember who you're talking about. Get everyone yeah. the <laughs> I was like, ten <laughs> scene. She had Close some nice hangers going on. <laughs> and I was also, at the same time, remember, I was ten. So I it was you weird to get saying this. Internet. I'll take care yeah. of Joker. Um, I remember I had a crush on her. That was like one of my Seven. first like movie crushes when I was ten. Huh. It was now. the basis. She was hot. I remember one of my first movie crushes ever when I was a really little little kid was uh Is it Tom Selleck? Yeah, it was Tom Selleck from Just Richard uh, Blue Everybody from in. Blue Bloods. Go, go, go! Uh, <laughs> when you were really little <laughs> yeah. from Blue Bloods, a show that was like on right now. No, the the one I remember the most from when I was a little kid was that girl that plays Wednesday from uh Ooh, yeah. The Adam Sandler? Yeah. Yeah, she's... Uh, a girl? Oh my god. A girl with this super hot girl that I know named Kayla. She went as Wednesday Adams to the Halloween party that I went as Guy Fieri as. Oh, the other oh day? Oh my god. She has... Yeah, she has such a fantastic... She's like, not chubby, but she's thick, you know? Oh, thick god. bones, I was like, huh? Oh my god, I was so just in love with her. <coughs> so, um, were you, in, dressed were you as engrossed? Fucking, dude, dressed as Wednesday Adams, I was like, just rock hard the entire party. It was crazy. She's so sounds, hot. Sounds nice. Ugh. She has a big butt, big titties. We're just talking about this stuff while the Normandy is falling apart, and while every single crew member of the Normandy has been fucked in the ass. Yeah, yeah by whatever. By the collectors. Who gives a shit? Who yeah. gives a fuck? Yeah, who, cares? who is actually watching this for the gameplay and not for Ugh. us talking to each other like we're the best friends ever? <laughs> yeah, people just mute it. <laughs> people are just gonna mute yeah. us talking. <laughs> 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 we have to get like, out of here. Like, what the fuck? I just wanna watch this guy play. I don't wanna hear him talk about School of Rock and like this girl dressed as Wednesday Adams. Another girl that I remember having an extremely large crush on. Yeah, okay. Help me up. Oh, did she post it? She posted it to Twitter, didn't she? Yeah, she posted it. You know who I had a really, um, really big crush on when I was a little kid? Or all of the street Hillary sharks. Hillary Clinton. Street <laughs> yeah, Street Sharks. I was a... I did have a crush on the female gargoyle from the show Gargoyles. Oh, well, who did? Yeah, she was purposely made, like, super sexy. Yeah, really. Uh, Gargoyles movie? It was a movie? Yeah, I think I actually remember the movie. I remember... Oh, yeah! You know what? I remember the movie. I never saw the movie. But I, I do remember <laughs> seeing the uh, the preview for the movie. And the only reason why I remember it is because I watched the VHS of Liar Liar so many times. Because 
the preview for, for oh, the, yeah. the Gargoyles movie was on the Liar Liar VHS. They're making a Gargoyles live action movie. Right, like, 2018. presently? Yeah. Huh. Weird. Yeah, I don't know, whatever. Um... It's weird. But a girl that I had a very large crush on when I was younger was the girl from um, Spy Kids. Oh, yeah. I think I... in Spy Kids her name was Alexa Vega. I remember her. Oh, no, that's her name now, Alexa Vega. <coughs> She did. She did a. She was in the movie Machete. She was. And yeah. Oh man, she must oh be really. God. She must no, be she old in, now. Or not old, she was in, but like she our was age. In Grindhouse. Now, right? That's what it was. She was in like Grindhouse. Was she the girl with, no, the, she was in with the machine gun leg? Uh no, she was not the girl with the machine gun leg. Because because the girl, girl from so Spy Kids must. She must be our age now, right? Oh yeah, she's older, than us. she's older than yeah, she's she must twenty-seven. Be older than us. Just another routine okay. mission. She's twenty-seven. Why do they always say that? But before she a does. Of course, it's routine. She you did a done nude scene. Yet. It's everything that happens along the way. I think the choices you make, the paths you choose, that turn the routine into anything but. Of course, that's but how it God, starts. She's so fucking <coughs> routine mission, answering a distress call. And look where that got me. Yeah, I had a huge crush we on her, and I had a crush Norman. on her because Captain I saw the movie Shark Boy and Lava Girl. Which I is never saw that movie. An alliance patrol on Eden Prime had been attacked. Beyond horrible. I guess I'm happy I but didn't see But that was when the like whatever it was. That was when like it was 3D I had was with my lieutenant, Caden becoming uh, a good kid, loyal. By the it was book. becoming like commonplace for to put 3D in movies, but it was like super obviously fake 3D CGI shit. Like incredibly terrible, like, uh, like um, Discipline. Mega Shark versus Giant Crocodile, or something or whatever the fuck. And took us to the yeah. spot where she lost like her or something. That's when we saw it. Oh my god! Know, like I, I once watched. I watched. I watched a movie I never seen from sci-fi. It was called like Scorching the Colony uh, and Piranha Python or something like that. Oh my god! We followed the path. Oh my god! It was an artifact. It was amazing. Left by a long dead race called the Prothians. The colony <laughs> dug it up, and whoever attacked them had the to take special it. effects. Chief they Williams were on par with of getting too close. Star Wars. They hit her with some type of energy. I grabbed her oh, out of yeah, the Oh yeah, I'm sure. And that's when it hit me. Hard. Every muscle in my body went rigid. I couldn't move. Could barely breathe. This is the premise for Shark Boy and Lava Girl. This kid was on a boat. Something. And he. Uh, I'm on a boat. Three. Yeah. Maybe. This kid was on a boat. By the time and I woke he... up, we were halfway to the Citadel on our way to meet the Council. Mm -hmm. I was expected to explain what I'd seen. He Anderson came along. fell overboard or some so shit, or I don't know. He was on a fucking the float. Citadel. It was on a raft. Those two yeah, he got and ripped three sharks. He got ripped from the beast <laughs> by a great white <laughs> shark. <laughs> and a yeah, this, was was, the this was just his feeding. This was just his fever dream as he was dying. The um, suspect for the Eden Prime he, Master he, was a tourist. Three sharks come out of the water and start talking to him, and they the raise him as their own, and he Eden grows Prime. gills and oh, fins and that the ship was teeth. To and then even he meets accusations up with this one normal the kid, and the normal kid is like they the main character. The normal kid, he meets up with him, and then becomes his best friend, and lives in a fish tank in his bedroom. And then randomly. This girl named Lava Girl just appeared. I wasn't alone. And she made out of started lava? talking to him. Another Turian. No, she's just One a normal girl, but she why is she named Lava, lava Girl again? for Citadel security? I think she got like to shoot Lava out of hands. But he shouldn't get involved. Hmm. He told me he was she has pink hair, and he had some hmm, useful sexy. leads. But I remember more important. I remember they made her wear like a shirt. pink. Yeah, they made her wear like a pink bodysuit. I just remember thinking she was really hot. Yeah, I was like, oh man. More than just a brute. It was so, his uh, intel that led to a fugitive. Taylor Dooley. Who the fuck is Taylor Dooley? The fugitive turned out to be an energetic little quarry and named. That wasn't Tally. her. A tech expert with a Oh my god, attack. that wasn't the uh, same girl. Some information uh, Tally. Sarah. I will be fucking you. Evidence this that through. proved Saren was dirty. Taylor Lautner played Shark Boy. Tally's evidence proved that Saren really? was responsible uh, known for the as massacre on Eden. The wolf Cross, from and that the whatever shitty Twilight. Twilight. Wasn't yeah, Twilight. He was Wolfman from the Twilight Vampire. 
film. Saren was trying to find a way to bring he back Wolf Boy. sentient <laughs> machines from dark space. He was Wolf Boy and Lava Girl. allegedly responsible for cleansing the galaxy. Wolf Boy and Shark, Shark Girl. And Shark These Shark. These Reapers were blamed for wiping out all life <laughs> that's, 50, that's a, years the ago. sequel. Wolf Boy, and, Wolf Boy and, and Shark Girl. Shark, shark, shark then Gil. disappearing back through the mass relays to dark space, leaving no trace they'd ever been. That explained why Saren was after the beacon, and it made some sense out of my visions. Wolf Shark and Shark, but not shark much else. Lava. <laughs> we couldn't convince the council that the Reapers were a threat, but they agreed Saren had to be stopped. <laughs> they stripped him of his Spectre status and gave me the honor of becoming the first human Spectre. John Lewis Christmas advertisement for 2015, Man on the Moon. Anderson decided to stay behind, giving it's up his It's gonna be really sad, isn't it? He told me I would need it more than he This would. makes no sense. There's an old he man sitting me on in a direction. Liara. A Prothean expert. Show someone their eyes, love this Christmas. Maybe most importantly, by buying our Vanessa, products. Sarah's if you don't buy our products, tenant. you don't love them. And like most Asari. Don't make anything as beautiful though. as she is intelligent. And born with a unique ability to meld with other species. Liara Ooh. was able to help me decide. Lisa Rucka Rucka Kura drink to me. Lisa Rucka 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 And a new appreciation for the Asari. <laughs> Just extremely racist. Was unexpected. But not at all unpleasant. This fucking, Whoa. This fucking like. Is that Saki? Ashley was this, a little uh, concerned about the connection I shared with Liara. Like, As comic book I knew, style I thing that you have to watch right at the beginning of the with the missions. Oh, yeah! So long. I told Liara about how I yeah, felt. Yeah, I forgot about that. Apparently, she'd felt it too. But we agreed we wouldn't let it get in the way of our mission. I don't get how people I go to, like, Sarah. those bars where it's like. I'm gonna order a drink, cool, alright, and then you go up and then the bartender has to do like 45 minutes of work to prepare your <laughs> one drink that'll take like three sips. I want a sex on the beach with rocks with a twist right. with a stash of Bacardi and Lewis and then like a, an olive on the tip and then my penis dipped in it and stirred. I want you to dip your balls in it. Dip your balls in my drink. Make sure you get a lot of hair and cheese in there. That butter the in there. Well, what are you talking about then? If you're not talking about that, what are you talking about? Those but fucking Sarah like those like artisan drinks where they have to like pour exactly to three ounces into the a little oh. black cauldron oh. and then put like you know oh we have to mix some smoke in and we have to aerate it and we have to like you know whip it around in this little thing and oh we're also going to put this in it and these herbs and then we're going to strain it. It's like just give me look, buddy. I'm here just because just I want to get pee in my mouth already. Up. Just pee in my mouth. <laughs> just pour shots of like, Jaeger an and vodka for past sins. and Tanqueray. Just and pour all that into my work. fucking mouth. Yeah. Just, just pour, it any of of drones pour it onto your it's dick and I will drink it off the tip. With Saren's top lieutenant Imagine dead. going to a bar and sitting down and you're like, let me get this. Let me let me just get a drink and it'll you, you finish it in two sips. But we soon learned right? more. And the guy like takes thirty like minutes to thirty make minutes to do it, it and it costs like Sarah eighty dollars. Yeah. Here you also get a he cigarette. I don't want the general. cigarette. I wanted <laughs> to get blackout <laughs> drunk for like. And taking over the <laughs> I don't want to get blackout drunk for like was twenty bucks. I don't want endless beasts that obeyed Saren's To spend will. four times that on one. And all small research. little artisan drink. Rex I don't care that you went to school to be like an amazing bartender. Just give me a fucking beer. Rex wanted the genophage cure for his people. There's a proper and an improper way to purchase. That's why rich people real. suck. Like if I was a rich person, I would down. still eat at fucking porta sub. If I was a billionaire, I'd eat at porta subs. I'd wear t shirts and jeans everywhere. Way way to Realize this wasn't the way to help subs. people. Yeah, and rich people are fucking stupid. Like I have a hundred million dollars. I'm only going to eat the finest wagyu and Kobe beef burgers. Cool. I'm going to go over here and eat a fucking double baconator because you're a faggot. Sarah's flagship we'd all assumed was just a ship. There are things that rich people get. They get it right. You know, like buying nice houses and cool shit. Well, there are some restaurants that, you know, that are made for, well, not rich, but you know, well-off people, high middle class people that are amazing. But I couldn't yeah, but imagine, imagine eating all of your fucking meals, going to like these no high-end places where each dinner takes an hour or two hours. Like, yeah. I would so much rather be fucking loaded and then just come home on my super mega gaming PC with my awesome we had a nuke. Decked out we room. To use it. Yeah. Eating Before like we could 20 porta sub sandwiches. We fought. Very like true. Chipotle burritos. Time for my team. You know, I'd rather do that and every night. To him. Be like, I'm rich. I don't give a fuck. I don't have anything to do. Here's my it rent for Saren, who was 20 years. I'm just going to buy this house outright. All my friends are going to come live with me. 
It's going to be a super nice house, but it's not going to be like a billion dollars a year to manage. It's going to be a nice house. I'm going to let my friends come live with me for free. I'm going to pay for all their shit because I'm a billionaire. And I'm not going to buy them Lamborghinis, but I'm going to pay for all my friends' shit because they're here. Like, they're living with me now. Yes, you get a fucking... Three thousand, five thousand dollar computer. You get a five thousand dollar computer. I, could only I have a billion life. dollars. I don't care. I'm not gonna be able to spend that money in my Clayton lifetime. Was a so good man. fuck it. And a great soldier. I buy but stupid I shit. Choose. I would just buy a boat. And be like, here, just dock it and whatever we want. You that pay you to take care of it. Sarah but I wouldn't buy like a fucking then, mega yacht for fifty million dollars. I just buy like a team boat or wakeboarding boat. We chased Saren and his army to Ireland. I buy a sweet ass house in San Diego, what we but not like fight. fucking retarded, like crazy we billion dollar home. Mm. I'd buy like Against a million dollar world. home if I had a billion I dollars. I'd buy like a million odds, dollar home we could defeat that has like Liara maybe five bedrooms, not a not super big, nice she yard, ish, death. maybe like four bedrooms. She could sense and then I. We both knew this pay for my friends last. to live there with me Until and just pay for everything put our feelings aside for the in the sake house. Of that mission. Um, why wait? You know, I'd like pay to we go on trips together. and shit places, but I wouldn't but spend like I wouldn't spend lasted. like fifty million dollars on buying this, buying that. We arrived on Ilo, Maybe I didn't. I'd, I would definitely invest a lot of planet, money, but I mean, what the fuck, dude? I'm not gonna go to. Oh, let's go to the bar and each one of us is gonna order one drink. It'll take seven hours before we get our drinks. Every fifty thousand years before that. I'd just go to like cool ass sushi the places. Of life. The Protheans had fought and died. I'd be a really good billionaire. Every species before them. I'd be a happy billionaire. But a, few a lot of billionaires probably aren't happy. A parting gift. Oh, I have so the much Protheans money. What am I going to do with it? Uh, I'm going to donate 98% of it to charity when I die. Yeah, you're a good person. But fuck Citadel, you, dude. They found a way to close the relays to dark I'm, space. I'm using all of it. I mean, this drink looks stupid. Return. Yeah, I'm using all my fucking money. To find a solution to stop the Reapers once and for all. Sarah knew this. He was leading his army Here's to take drink. control of the city. God, this fucking, With, uh, lemon really in fucking comic book is Bring still going on. Here to destroy us all. I know, I hate that fucking scene. But you I don't want to skip it Citadel. because of my viewer. It was intact, <laughs> but heavily damaged. <laughs> no, you were right the first time. Now, right? I know I am. I'm just and with Sovereign, <laughs> praying. There was one praying. The fleets could counterattack with enough strength to take back the city. Wanna be Marine and but his Sarah girlfriend on Beyond Scared Straight. I was done chasing. Huh. As the Alliance I'm absolutely still, watching that. Saren's army outside. I cornered the Turian bastard in the Citadel Tower. Wow, really? Fight. They sent her to fucking... He died they sent her to the, the jail. Like, the fucking whatever... As I fought prison control of the Citadel to the because she the destiny did underage drinking when she's 18. Despite it gives a fuck. Death, Just be a better Sarah's parent. How about that? Yeah, fight. right. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna expect the these, uh, these and they were requesting jailhouse guards because you know, when you turn 21 and you're out on your own, if you drink, you're in you're gonna get in trouble. Uh, why don't you just like take care of your kid? How about you just raise your kid in a better way than a fucking idiot? I'm a fucking moron. I'm a fucking moron. Even with the Citadel back in my control. Oh, uh, never mind. She's a fucking the dumbass. Leading the combined galactic fleet. Party means the you get Sarah, drunk and do Reaper whatever and you party us. all the time. It took the combined fleets of humanity and the other races. But in the end, Sovereign I like getting back. drunk. It's fun. She has big titties. And she's 18, so like, whatever. Well, her dad looks like a fucking the war earned us our first seat on the count. Larry. It was a hollow victory. The Reapers were still out there. The Reapers the were over, still out there. Oh. As the one who'd led the fight against Saren, I was given new responsibilities. But this time, the they're the collectors. The first counselor was left they're, like, to they're like big giant bugs. On one hand, Udina, the lifetime politician. Ruthless and ambitious, he would easily <laughs> navigate the this political landmine that would soon be put in front of him. The other choice, Captain Anderson, the career soldier. Tough but fair, but a friend and someone I could trust. They're both great leaders in their own right. For some reason, the game, the first game, never remembers your choice <laughs> when you do this. Yeah, I know, right? It never does. Anderson didn't want the job. It never remembers your sure last choice. It remembers friend. every single other no choice that you make. Get in the way. But the person that you want to lead the council for humanity the it never the remembers. I don't think it's ever remembered in time, my choice the council ever. Would rebuild itself. I just have to do the fucking choice myself. It's so hard. Lost friends would fade. 
This 15 year old looks like she's fucked with And I have to up. point it upwards towards the Anderson button. Powerful and I have to click the, the we click. To find I have to a click way to the stop. clicker. I had to God, find I hate a way. that. I gathered my crew it's almost like I don't want to play this game anymore. And went in search of answers. <laughs> Officially, the council would only <laughs> I'm gonna watch this video called the Top Six, six Savage Moments in Beyond Scary Stream. Just another routine. Mission. Savage rapings? <laughs> There's like a black dude doing the voiceover and it says 10,000 badass kids, but only a few of them can be true savages. It's gonna be a long first video. First video is gonna be like 30 minutes long. I can't, find, I can't find a good place to end it. Commander Shepard has been recovered. The last I don't care. I'm fly with my own style. Get up fabulous. No one's gonna watch it. <laughs> Damn, she fights boys and girls. She's 11. I could kick her fucking ass, dude. Damn, just suck her right in the cunt. I'd grab her by her fucking throat and slam her through a glass window. window. And then when the when she's like through the glass window, I'll just turn her so she's facing down and then just pull straight down so her head gets chopped off. You just have to you have to be like Kane from WWE. Grab her by the throat and choke slam her through the ground. I always thought that that was a cool cut scene where they show all the uh, probes getting stuck into um, Shepard and everything. Yeah, right. Like that.